In this video, I'm going to show you how Apple Classroom 3.2 functions on both a teacher iPad and a student iPad. The first function is here I have a class already started called Test Class. You can see there's only one student in this class. But up top, you'll see Open. This is how you will navigate and open apps on the student iPad. For instance, I could open any of these apps as long as both the teacher and the student have it, it will appear. So on this one, I am going to open up Drive. You can see on the student iPad, it opens up immediately. I can then also choose to open Drive on this iPad. Okay. Now, let's go back to open and look at another option. Down here, I can lock in the app after opening, meaning students will not be able to close it down until you unlock. So I'm going to turn on the lock in app after opening and select FOSS eBooks. You can see that it opened the FOSS eBooks on there and the student cannot close it down. I'm pressing the home button on the student device. It will not close down until I select unlock. It is unlocking the iPads and after it does unlock, the student will now be able to close it down. The next option is navigate. Navigate's a great way to get them to a certain website rather than posting this website on a board or a link. If you have it in your favorites, meaning you bookmarked it, you can click on Safari, go into favorites, I have different folders, so if I choose science, I want to open up the Nat Geo Kids on this device. By selecting that, it will automatically navigate their, all the iPads in the class to that website. I also have the option then to go to Nat Kids on this website. The next option is Hide. Hide is a great way for you to get every student back to their home screen. So this will hide the apps. As you can see on the device, it automatically hid that app. The fourth option is lock. This will lock the iPad screen so they cannot do anything. Even if they click on the home button, it will not open. Of course, then that changes to unlock. The other option is to mute. So if kids are listening to something that's really loud, by selecting mute, it turns down the volume. The second to last option is screens. This will give you the ability to see the screens of all the iPads if you have multiple students here. By selecting that, you'll see now Henry's iPad is visible. And if I'm doing something in real time, I can see this. You'll also notice that this up here changes. If you have multiple students on different apps, you will see multiple apps up top and you'll be able to click on students that are on the appropriate app or if they're off task, you'll be able to lock the screens of those off task. The final option here is group. I only have one student in this class, but if I had multiple students, I would be able to group them in smaller groups, such as hybrid A versus hybrid B. I'll cancel out of that. You get a little bit more when you click on the student. So by tapping on Henry Hornet, I'm able to, to open apps just to Henry navigate certain websites to Henry or hide. If I select hide, you can see that it hides the app there. But I can also do things like AirPlay. If I wanted to AirPlay Henry's um, iPad onto a projector, I could do it from here. And then if I click view screen, I get a much bigger picture of what that student is doing on that particular iPad. So that is how Apple Classroom 3.2 functions on both the student and teacher iPad.